Okay, this is another version of our loop uh, that will ask the user for a number of numbers and output the sum at the end. This one is called the Sentinel controlled loop. And we start out by asking the user for their first number. And they're either going to give us a number or we'll prompt them to enter zero uh, to exit or quit the loop. So this is called our priming read. So if they give us a number other than zero, that will get us into our loop. And notice our loop test is as long as number is not equal to zero. Now not equal in visual logic is the less than greater than sign. In some other languages, uh, it's the bang uh, equal. Okay, uh, like like so. Uh, but for visual logic, we'll say less than or greater than. That that's equivalent to not not equal to. So number not equal to zero will go into the loop. We have our accumulator, so sum equals sum plus number works just the way it did before. Uh, and then we have our loop read, and it will look just like our priming read. We're going to ask for a number or zero to exit. Notice it's the last step in the loop, so that if they do enter zero, uh, we're not performing any kind of math on it or anything. We're we're exiting the loop immediately uh, after they enter zero. So with the priming read and the loop read, we're looking for that sentinel value, in this case of zero, uh, to exit the loop. So we can enter any number uh, of numbers here, and I'll test it out. We'll put in one, two, three, four, and five, and then lastly I'll say zero to quit, and it should give us our sum of, of 15. And that's how sentinel controlled loops uh, work.